Okay, yesterday I played water polo for the first and last time in my life. Bruh, five things to know before you try to play water polo. Five. Number one, you can't swim like you think you can swim. If you've never had to stay afloat in a pool for like 30 minutes straight, you've never swam in your life. I don't know how these little girls do it. I don't know how these men do it. I can't stay in a float for more than 45 seconds in one place trying to do something. It's like the worst thing somebody, who made this sport? Who idea was to say, hey, humans, get inside of a pool. You're not going to move. You're going to stay afloat. You can't grab onto the side. You can't go to the bottom. You better stay afloat because if you can't stay afloat, you can't play the game. Water polo will make your entire body grow hair at the end, woman or man. Entire body. Number one. Man. Number two. If you've never been hitting your face with a wet volleyball, don't play. I will admit, when I was growing up, I don't suffer by 85 wet rag whoopings. A wet rag whooping is when you in the kitchen doing something you're supposed to do and your parents ain't got nothing to hit you with, so they bow with the wet rag. If you're not paying attention in water polo, they play with a ball, like a, like, almost like a volleyball, but as hard as a basketball. So imagine not paying attention, just trying to stay afloat, trying to survive, and all of a sudden somebody hit you right in the side of your face with a wet volleyball hard as a basketball right in the side of your face and your whole face sting. Like your whole thing was just rubbed on the hot pavement. Go! To the athletes that commit themselves to water polo and who suffer this face splash, I salute you. It's like getting hit in the face with 86 wet rag whoopings by a grandma that's great at cooking cornbread. Bruh. Number three, if people touching you underwater bothers you, I suggest you stay out the pool. So yesterday at my community pool, a bunch of college dudes that was out there playing, I said, you know what? I want to be involved. I want to play this. I think I'm athletic enough to play this. So I'm staying afloat. I already got stung in my face. I want to fight everybody here in the pool, but I ain't fight nobody. But then all of a sudden, this 22, 23-year-old boy that looked like the first boy that played the werewolf in the real good Twilight movie saga, he going to wrap his legs around me now, brother. I'm a grown man. I got two kids. You wrapping your legs way too close to me. Yo, it's on my thigh. I don't know how I'm going to take this, but he did this thing where he kind of pulled me down and I'm trying to fight for my life. So just imagine me in a pool like this and like, they laughing at me because I ain't no real referee and I'm saying help, but I can't say help because the water in my mouth and I'm choking a little bit. If your paranoia level is extremely high, I suggest you not go thigh to thigh with nobody underwater because it's a dirty game in water polo. And if you can't fight down below, number four, although water polo looks very fun, it's a very serious, don't change your facial expression type game. So one thing about black people, we gonna celebrate everything. Any sports we play in, we gonna show out. After we make a point, you got dudes doing this, you got dudes doing this. I don't even know what that means. LeBron James does this. This is called the silencer. In water polo, when you score a goal in water polo, nobody really celebrates. Everybody just swim right back to their position and just... Because I didn't know that because I wasn't paying attention. I realized you need all your air. So all that, woo, yeah, let's go. All that's going to take air and energy out your body. If you want to play this sport and you think y'all going to do synchronized swimming, throw somebody up in the air, splash waters like dogs after they score. Nah, wrong sport for you. Stay on side of the pool and you just be a cheerleader like this. You celebrate when they score. The pool is for the cool in every situation. And number five, water polo is one of the first sports I've played where you compete against somebody where size don't matter. I am a self-proclaimed thick dude. I know I can lift weights. I know on land, I'm strong, strong. In that water, I am a tadpole. I am Nemo. I mean nothing. Something 105 pounds will take me down yonder. And all you're going to see is my hands up high. Nobody cares about how big you is, how fast you are, and how much you live. What matters is your endurance, your mental. Your mental matter more than your endurance. Because if you're a person up here that you got a weak up here, you ain't going to make it. Because as soon as somebody wrapped their snakes around my leg and I felt like I was going under, I streamed Titanic because I thought we hit an iceberg in the water. Then 
And I fought myself back up. And somebody hit me on my side of the face with a hard basketball. And I was ready to quit. You know what? Water polo is not something that I will participate in. But y'all now have all my respect. Hey, can we get a wet rag? Because my face hurts.